hi guys welcome to our new video today we're gonna show you uh which is better between the d-link and the huawei b15 so d-link this d-link let me get you the model number uh you can see it's a d-link um dslg 225 it's um this 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 modem comes under telecom but uh it's from d-link telecoms they supply them uh they buy them then they distribute them to their clients so this modem and this modem which one can i buy so i would say if you're looking for a wireless modem because this sometimes when you go you can find them in shops but uh telecom does not sell uh them they give them for free this one you have you can get it from telecom for free but it will be on contract so once you cancel the contract chances are high that they're gonna take up take back this one so this one used to come with telecom dsl a dsl but this 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 one can buy them in the in the in the shops i also have them if anyone wants them you can comment in the comment box below this is one of the charming uh modems so this modem uh you can make this modem as the access point for this modem so if you have two and you have a dsl or fiber you can run a cable from here and put it in here and then when you run this thing you can take it to a next door or next place wherever then you can get on wi-fi if it comes to wi-fi this is a very fast modem fast modem fast modem so that's why you, it's not recommended to use this modem if you have limited data this modem is good for unlimited data because it's fast you're gonna find out that you you your your data finishes quicker and you might think that no maybe these guys are robbing me no they are not robbing you the modem is too fast it's called a huawei b15 so now i'm gonna show you it takes a mod a what a sim card you take here you can put they see here there's a telecom sim card but you can put a rain sim card the mtn sim card vodacom sim card cell c sim card all of that depending on your network or what internet service provider so that it has areas these ones they are useless if you don't set them in so if you don't set these in so they are useless why because this modem settings they, they come by default whereby it can use auto auto means it can use the antenna or it can work without antennas you just plug it and put it somewhere else even if on wi-fi it can work but then if you try like to see like you struggle on on internet then you can take what they call you can put in or if you struggle with your uh what uh what uh, network so you can put in this uh, to help you on what on the signal so let me put them in back and I say this is so fast it can run to almost let me put this it depends on your internet service provider but this modem is very very fast they call them LTEs most people they call them LTEs but this is a Huawei B15 if you go to the shop ask them to give you a Huawei B15 so get you here okay so now what you do you put them back here and uh, you you fine with this once you get them right you can so so it's um, you can put it here so then you go plug it into power so once the sim card is in if you want to use wi-fi you go here and uh, you go here and check your you can see your wi-fi by default your wi-fi password is that and the username you can see what they call wi-fi key and also you can see what they call uh what they call the what they call this is a huawei b315 that's the model number so here is that's why you say the wi-fi key this is the wi-fi key so if it doesn't work and you plug it into electricity so search for a name if you don't find it what you're gonna do you're gonna do what you're gonna get a toothpick or a pin then you press here you put the pin here you press into this pin uh, until your modem blinks so when it blinks it means simply means you have reset your modem after resetting the modem simply means it's gonna use the default username and password on the modem so if it doesn't use that it simply means that somebody changed it and set the username and password to what he wanted similar to this modem if you connect it to adsl what's gonna happen to you is uh 
you can you can use you can use um the what the username and password on the modem here so if they don't work also you can go down here and press what we press this uh button in here then you reset you see that small hole there you put a pin inside there you can get any pin a wire or whatever then you pin in there when the modem is on not when it's off so another thing about this modem you can put a usb this one so let's see this one also it takes a usb in case you have a 3g dongle uh, you want to use you can put a 3 a what a, a usb here so this usb is not only used for that it also can be used for printing you get me you can print uh if on any com any printer which is on the network you can connect your printer here then here connect the computers uh, or a switch here so on the network which simply means whatever computers on the network uh it can be print it can print using that printer because that printer is connected to your to your modem directly here so same applies to this this is the what you're gonna use so the difference between these two is um this one has a sim card this doesn't use a sim card this one strictly it uses a a, a dongle a dongle you can use a dongle here or you can use what they call um a dsl line so this one it has a telephone line but i'm not sure if it uses a dsl but this one i'm 100 percent sure it uses a dsl that's why you can see it's written a dsl these ones are designed for a dsl but also you can use maybe a 4g uh what uh a 4g um uh, a 4g dongle then you put it in there so also this one you can use a 4g dongle you put it also a 3g dongle so now conclusion which modem can i buy so if you have an adsl line buy this modem if you don't have an adsl line these days you know people use sim cards and stuff then buy this line because this line buy this modem this modem is easier it's portable you can do anything you, can, you want you can go anywhere with it whenever maybe you're moving out of the house but this one when you're moving out of the house you have to tell your service provider to move your cable to put it into your new house you get me so that's why we don't recommend this but now what they did is guys they made this this all this uh modem they use the the same what they call they use the same chargers so the charger which used which use that which goes on that can go also on here you get me so same thing you can see also this this is the same thing so but if you, you're looking for any wireless modem this is a, a very cheap modem and uh, very powerful that's the thing so it has two things it's affordable and it's cheap and, and it's what and it's fast so i would recommend somebody to buy a huawei b15 uh b315 if you are going to use a wireless whatever um wireless network so people are using rain mtn uh vodacom telecom you can do that i showed you already the sim card here you can just take out this just take out this sim card you can see so this sim card they got it on contract then when it finished now they're no more using this so also putting it in this thing takes any sim card any company uh it doesn't matter which it's telecom vodacom celsi any sim card can go in here so i'm trying to fix the sim card it's getting messy here you get it get it right i get it right for you guys okay, okay. still struggling here yeah I managed to put it in that's fine now the sim card is in guys so I'm gonna I'm gonna close here okay that's the thing so these also these you see these antennas can fit here but now the difference is they won't work why uh, this this taking out this you can see this inside doesn't have a pin and this inside it has a pin so the pin pins into into this so but the other way around these ones these ones were made 
they have a pin inside and inside there's no pin so you cannot use this on this so unless if you manipulate it and put a pin inside here then you put here so that's the way it works so when you see but they fit because uh, if you take it out it's gonna fit that's the thing so guys that's all about these two modems and I've showed you what to buy what not to buy if you want what what do you do so thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe this is Azania tutorials